Hey guys, I'm Drew the Helium Noob. Thank you for checking out my channel. Today I want to go through cables. But before we jump in, please hit that subscribe button and then uh, turn on the alerts. That way you can get all my content as I release it. Now, I don't have any sponsors yet, so I'd like to ask for your support by using my affiliate links that you find on the website in the descriptions. Also, if you like my content and would like to help me to continue to produce it, please consider donating to the channel through the link found in the About My Channel section. I greatly appreciate it. So let's go, noobs. So today, I'm excited about two things. One, I just launched a new cable guide on the website heliumnoob.com. So what I want to do is take you guys over to the website. We'll check it out. I'll kind of show you how you can use it as a guide. But please keep in mind that everybody's setup might be a little bit different. Your miner might be different. Your accessories might be different. So therefore, please continue to use it as a guide and then always check with your manufacturer for the specifications that they require. The second thing I'm excited about is that this is a premiere video. Now, what does that mean? That means that you and I, we're not quite live, right? But I'm live in the chat box. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jump over to the chat box and ask them right now. I'm more than happy to help as much as I can or answer any questions um, that you guys might have. So before we jump over to the website, if you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button and again, turn the alerts on that way you get all my content. All right guys, so now that we're gonna jump over to the uh, website here, so heliumnoob.com. Just wanna run through a couple things real quick. So one, I've been updating the, the website. Um, you know, I added some videos here and, and kind of changed the way that it looks just to kind of make it a little bit easier for your eyes, um, both on mobile and on uh, desktop. So uh, I also added a uh, direct link to Rack Wireless. Um, a lot of the accessories that I talk about uh, come direct from them. Uh, so if you click on that, it'll take you out to their, to their just general store accessories. Uh, you can also click the direct links under any of, uh, any of my sections and it'll take you right to the item that I'm talking about. Now, let's get back to what we're talking about today. So we got the cable guide, right? So if we click on cable guide under step three, uh, pick your accessories, it's gonna open up a Google Sheets file. Now the Google Sheets file, uh, again, this is a work in progress, guys. I am not gonna put anything in here that I haven't personally verified. So, uh, for example, if it's if it's something I'm just reading on the internet, I'm not gonna do it unless I know for sure that it's right. Um, and, and a couple of ways that I verify it, one, if it's me personally, so my miner, my cables, and so on and so forth. Obviously, I've verified it. Uh, the other way is if, um, you know, like the other day I, I emailed a, a question to, to Bobcat about some other cables and things like that. So um, if I received a response from the manufacturers or, or the accessory uh, manufacturers, th then I will put it on here comfortably. Um, but I, my intention is obviously never to put inaccurate information. So let's check out the disclaimers real quick. I make every effort possible to make sure this information is accurate. I cannot control manufacturer changes, availability, shipping delays, so on and so forth. Um, so the exact items below are verified. If you're picking different accessories, please check the specifications. Your cables will determine will be determined by which miner and what accessories you are using. Always do your due diligence before you order anything. So again, guys, your equipment might be different than mine. Um, if you know you pick a different uh, antenna or a different cable or whatever it might be different than what I have in this chart so always do your due diligence make sure you check with the manufacturer specifications to make sure that it's going to work for you um, especially when we get to the country right so we all know that uh, by now if we're in different countries the uh, frequencies are different uh, so on and so forth so make sure that when you click one of my links because they're set up for mostly the united states stuff that if you're not in the united states there's a chance that this stuff will not work for you so you want to make sure that you pick the correct country correct frequencies so on and so forth so just be aware of that and then please note that the tabs at the bottom are different connection sequences so at the bottom here, I have a couple different sequences available for you so the first one is stock connections right it shows you the minor the stock antenna and what cable connector is needed. Now, if you are putting the antenna directly into the miner, you don't need a cable. If you are gonna take your antenna and put it up in a window or in a second story, somewhere separate than your miner, um, then you're probably gonna to wanna to get a cable. So that's why I still have this on here. Um, and I have this right now for Rack and for Bobcat. Um, the second sequence is going to be from minor to lightning arrestor to antenna, right? Um, so we know there's different accessories and things that I keep talking about that we can put in between our minor and antennas. Um, so this is a lightning arrestor. We want to make sure that we have one of these. 
so that you protect from the static electricity that the cable generates, also what the antenna generates, and then try to help uh, prevent a, any um, type of uh, a lightning strike. Um, so again, pick your miner. Which miner do you have? You know, is your lightning arrestor an N-type female to male? Um, are you using the rack 8 dBi antenna? Here's the two cables that you need. Um, you know, one for the miner to the arrestor and one from the arrestor to the antenna. Now, if you click anything in blue, that's going to link you out and take you to um, that specific item and where you can purchase it. Um, so just make sure that, you, first of all, you pick your miner and then pay attention to kind of what else you're picking. Um, and, and that's how you can get that set up for yourself. Now, the third one makes it even more complicated. So again, always do your due diligence. But we can also now throw uh, outdoor enclosures in the mix, right? Um, so Rack has had a Rack Wireless uh, outdoor enclosure kit for the Rack Hotspot Miner, um, but now they also have one for the Bobcat uh, Miner. So again, Miner, the enclosure type, what type of connectors uh, are on the enclosure kit, um, your lightning rest, your antenna. Now if you buy these exact pieces in this, in this sequence, your cable that you will need will be an N-type female and an N-type male. Um, depending on your distance and preference, this setup also allows for you to put the arrestor um, right at the antenna or right at the enclosure. That's one of those things that's like right, wrong, indifferent. Uh, people are going back and forth on where do you put the arrestor, right? You can put it at the antenna, you can put it at the, the um, enclosure. Some people are putting it at where the cable goes in the house. I'm not an expert. I'm here to tell you what's right and wrong. Um, do your homework. Do what the manufacturer suggests. I've seen it done all kinds of different ways. Um, some a little sketchier than others, but at any rate, make sure you're following what the manufacturer tells you to do. Um, in, in, in most instances, if your cable's really short, you can put it on the antenna. If it's really long, you might want to consider putting it at your enclosure. So just a couple things to consider. Again, as I get more information and as I compile all of it, I'll get it added on here so that you guys can, can come back and, and check it out and see the updates. Um, then I'll keep everybody uh, up to date on, on when I do those updates. But at any rate, I wanted to uh, just kind of launch this today. I appreciate you guys coming out, checking out the video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please uh, put them in that chat box, or you can always email me at theheliumnoob at gmail.com, or check out the website. I put a form on there for you to submit questions and, and feedback, things like that. Um, so thanks for joining me today. We'll see you guys on the next one.